so we're gonna make baguettes now and this is probably I think the hardest thing to master because we're gonna do this with a poolish so we've got a uh, poolish fermentation method which to be fair is fairly easy but it's just another step that we need to take um, we've got folds in there and we've got the molding which is very very hard to master and not only that we've got to do the cutting as well now in France, in a bakery, you'll learn in, you know, a week or so because you'll be doing hundreds of these a night. When you're making them at home, it is harder to get it perfect each time just because it's hard to do the same action again when you've only done it a few times. It's easier to learn to do that or um, to do that or whatever the technique is that we're going to use. So don't get this in half to if you can't quite get it first time. Um, it may take a lot of practice, it may take getting a load of extra dough and just sitting there and practicing for a little while uh, until you get happy with it, or it will just be fine as they are. So, first of all, we're going to use some water to make our poolish, so that's 225 grams. And then we add our yeast, which is 0.9 of a gram. And then, of course, we whisk it up. So again, like the water, it's 225 grams of flour. And then we just stir it together for a minute. Okay, and there you go. So we just cover this with cling film and our starter, our poolish, will be ready around 12 to 14 hours, something like that. Okay, so the next day our poolish is looking lovely. Okay, so there's loads of texture in there. You can see the surface now is rippling. You can kind of see it, see it becoming irregular and the bubbles are, sort of, some of them are poking up now. So that is absolutely at its peak. We want to use that now. But any later it will start collapsing and then it just won't be as good. So, I've already weighed the ingredients for the baguette. So we have 750 grams of T55 French flour. You could use T55 or T65 if you want. I just love the t We've got our first water here, which is 435 grams. That's nice and cold. We've got a second water, which is 37 and a half grams which we we'll add on later on. Of course, we've got our bega. So what we're gonna do now is an auto -lays. So we're gonna take all our ingredients, apart from the salt and the second water. Now, we're, now the second water at um, to break up the irregularity and give you a more uneven crumb. So we add that right near the end. Delaying the salt, will, well, will, when you add salt to a dough, it makes it stronger. Uh, it makes it hold its shape or become elastic. If we remove the salt at the start when the gluten is starting to form, it will then become more, less elastic and more extensible, which means when we want to stretch out our baguettes, it's going to be easier to do and they'll hold their shape without trying to come back together again. So let's get on with it. Let's chuck in everything into this one I think. So the water in next. We're going to mix this by hand so I'll make it easier for myself and a little bit of water and a little bit of flour. Roll my sleeves. You could use uh, a dough scraper if you wanted to. So for the auto lays, all we do is gently mix it uh, just so all the ingredients are incorporated and you've got a fairly good water distribution, water to flour distribution. Okay, so that's it. I'll get my dough scraper, give that a 
clean up in a second and put it back in the bowl. Um, so we're just going to leave this now. I'll put a tea towel over the top just in case it dries out for 20 minutes to half an hour. The longer, the more extensible, the less mixing time it effectively needs. But even a five, 10 minute one will make a massive difference on your day. So we'll leave that for 20 to 30 minutes and I'll come back in the next video. After the baguettes autolays, we've left it about 25 minutes, but as I said, 20 to 30 minutes is great. Um, we're then going to start mixing. So we're gonna add all our ingredients, except for the second water, so that's the autolays plus the salt, and then we're gonna mix it. So we're gonna look at doing six minutes slow, then six minutes fast, and then another two minutes with the extra water in. Let's show you what's happening. <laughs> Strong, brilliant. Okay, on to fast mode. Okay, so six minutes in, we're now adding the water. It's only a little bit, so it should be fine in there at fast speed. Yeah, for another two minutes. Okay. Now, into a lightly floured bowl, which is the same one that we weighed the flour in earlier. on a window pane. So our baguette dough now gets left to rest for an hour and we'll give it two folds. So 20 minutes, 20 minutes uh, and we'll put a fold in between. So two folds after 20 minutes. So next up we give our baguette dough its first fold. Then stretch, fold, stretch, fold, Sticky, stretch, fold, and last is stretch, fold over there. Okay, in that goes, we leave that again for another 20 minutes. And so, 20 minutes later, we do exactly the same thing again. Baskets, bowl, bowl, fold over, bowls, fold in, fold in, and this time we'll leave the bag off because I can feel it's getting a little bit warm, I think it might actually cool it down. So at this stage, we're now ready to divide our baguettes. So we need our scales, we need a dough scraper, cutter, and some flour. So we've got some flour over here already. So I'm gonna tip this out. Then over this side of the table is where we're going to rest our baguettes. May need a little bit of flour on top, but I'm gonna give it a go without. Uh, the less flour, the better, of course. We're gonna divide these at 220 grams. Okay, so that's the scaling. We've got a little bit of scrap dough here. Now, 
what you could do is do a petit fumé, which is actually using a bit of the old dough to leaven the bread, and that's a great way of doing that with baguettes. Or you could do part, so if you're doing this every day, you'd, use it, you'd leave a little bit left over, and you do your poulish, chuck this in with the poulish. Trust me, that's a great way to make baguettes. So, next up, we're gonna quickly mold, or pre-shape our dough into a baguette shape. All that is, is kind of like oblongs, okay? So we just flatten as much air as we can out of the dough. And then just roll it into a sausage shape. And if it's got a little bit, if we've got a little bit gassy, don't worry too much. It'll be absolutely fine. Okay, so while well, we just leave them to relax for about 10 minutes, we're now going to prepare our couches. But in this case, we're going to use a tea towel. Confused? I'll explain. Here is our couche. It's, and it is, yes, a tea towel. But in order to support our baguette's proof, in its final proof, we need to allow the baguettes to keep its shape. If you were to just leave them long on a tray, they would kind of go outwards and actually we want them to go up as well so that they're round. Now, yes, sometimes you can have a baguette that's a little bit wider and you can give them a different name or whatever. That's fine. But a proper baguette should be made with a couche. Now, a couche is basically, it looks very similar to a bit of curtain liner. Um, in fact, I've used curtain liner before and it works just as well. Um, but it's a piece of cloth um, which is kind of absorbent. So it absorbs a bit of the flour to... Um, so it absorbs a bit of the flour which will... Um, stop the baguette sticking from it. And all we do is we're going to lay the baguette in a line like this um, for the baguettes to prove on. On the top, at the bottom, that's fine. So we're flattening it out into a rectangle. Okay. And then we're going to take our first fold over and again. And when it's on the side there, like that, we're just going to create a seam like that. Then we start from the middle with our hands. We're going to roll this out as much as we can. Take up a get, flatten it, as much air out as possible. Okay, and then turn over. Put it up and flatten it on the table. Over again, do the same thing again. Over, for the last time. Okay, and now we should have a fairly even structure now. And we turn it up one more time, fold over our seam. Okay, on there. And then we take our hands like this from the middle, push out. Create that little bit of tapering at the end as well, okay? And like that. That's a lot better. Pop him in there. Okay, you can just fold it over like that. 
Lovely, okay, so they get left there for around 45 minutes. Uh, sometimes a bit longer, depending on the temperature. It's been exposed to a lot so far. You know, if it's been in, the, in a warm room, it can make quite a big difference. So, uh, we'll check back on it in 45 minutes. Uh, we'll probably put them in the oven then, I'd imagine. But it may lead a little bit longer. So, they're all right like that. Three quarters of an hour later, and our baguettes are looking pretty, pretty good. So, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Okay, so as promised, you can give them another little tidy up like that if you want to, if they need it. Um, next up, we're going to make our cuts, and to cut them, we're going to put in, let's say, four cuts. So one, two, three, four. And you want to be looking to cut all along the same edge there, um, just off the middle, and this one to the side, and that will open out into the oven. So what we're going to do is pop these straight in one by one. So this one goes in. We cut this one. Finally, I do have this uh, wooden board which I can also use in the oven just to tidy them up if they need it. Uh, but the plastic will obviously melt. And ideally with hot water out the kettle. Pour into the bottom of the oven to create some steam. So this should take about 20 minutes to bake at 2.30. Cutting board. Tray like that. Try and just give it a little straighten up as you do it as well. And you've got to fit four on here. Now you could cheat and just do one long cut like that. And that'll make a cool little baguette. But if you want to go to the full level, you would be looking at doing say three cuts in this one, and you want to leave a gap, start about there, and end up about there. And that one there will start about there and end up about there. This one here will start about here and end up about there. So you've got a gap at each side and you're starting from just off the middle to just over the middle. And then the next cut is going to start about a quarter up the previous cut. So they overlap. Let's try and do it. Touch. Try not to burn yourself. And then in with a bit of boiling water. 2.50, uh, full whack. And we're gonna drop this down to 2.30 and bake it for 20 minutes. Okay, so we've had 20 minutes in total. I did 15 minutes at 2.30, and for the last five minutes, I just cracked on the top heat to help give that golden edge at the top, and you kind of get a little soft sort of part in your baguette just there, in between the top and the bottom, which is really, really cool. Just there, you get a soft little part, which is really, really cool. So um, these are cool down now and then we will make the other ones and put them in the oven as well.